Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 11th AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about ng-include. <laughs> okay then folks, just to recap what we've done so far, we've made this controller called Ninja Controller, we've added data to the scope object in this controller, we've passed that scope object through into this section right here which is controlled by the Ninja Controller, then we've output the data on that scope object using expressions to the browser, okay? So before we talk any more about controllers or data, I want to introduce you to a concept which is going to help us organize our HTML file, okay? And that concept is a directive called ng-include. Now ng-include can bring in HTML from another file and then just dump it into your current view whenever you need it. And it's really useful for two reasons. The first reason is that it can help us break up a complex HTML page into logical pieces. Okay, so if you imagine your application getting bigger and bigger, your HTML is going to get bigger and bigger. And it's going to be useful to break that HTML up into little pieces and have them as external files, which we can include whenever we need them. Okay. Uh, the other useful reason is when we're repeating our code. So say, for example, there's a section on our website which is going to be repeated over and over in different places. Uh, for example, we could have some social media buttons like YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, whatever. And those could be repeated in the header, the footer, and on some other pages. Now, instead of writing them over and over again in the code, what we can do is create an external file called socialicons.html. And then we can just use the ng-include directive whenever we need it in our view to go out and grab that code, bring it back in and insert it into the view. OK, so it's really cool. So what I'm going to do is keep it simple for this tutorial. And I'm just going to create a navigation bar, which we're going to then inject into this page using ng-include. So the first thing I want to do is right click over here and create a new file called header.html. Right. And for this tutorial, I'm going to make use of those styles that I put on my GitHub page. So uh, I've already got them in content, then CSS, and styles.css. Uh, if you want to download those, I'll leave the link to that GitHub page so you can go ahead and get this styles.css file and put it into your project file as well. Okay, so it's just going to look a little bit better over there. Now to make this header, I'll need a div, and I'm going to give this an ID of menu-bar. Then within that div, we just need a title first of all. So we'll do a h1, and this is going to be called Ninja Directory. This is going to be the title of our application, I suppose. And then under that, we're just going to do a ul and a couple of li tags. And within these li tags will just be a tags. They don't need to link anywhere at the minute. We're going to talk about linking things up later when we cover routing. But for now, we'll just put the text in so there's something there. Copy that and paste another bad boy down here which is going to be called list ninjas. And uh, when we click this, it's going to take us to some kind of directory when it's going to click, uh, show all the list of ninjas we have in our data. So if we save that now, obviously nothing is going to show up in the browser, but that's because we've not included this in the index file. So there's two ways we can do this. Um, this directive can be used as an attribute or a tag. And remember when I talked about directives, I, uh, I said they could be used in those two ways. So I'll show you both ways now. So if we use the tag way, we just need to say ng hyphen include, and then we do a source attribute, and then we put that equal to something here. And we have to get the path of this header dot HTML. So I'm going to copy the project path and paste it in here. Now, if we save this and have a look over here, nothing has happened and this is a common mistake when we use ng include as well as other things like filters we have to pass through things like this in quotations now because i've already used double quotations there for the source attribute i have to pass it through in single quotations like that so that's a common mistake for beginners so let's do that press save and uh, now we see this header in this file that's pretty cool so it's going out it's grabbing this header.html file from here and it's including it in this page right here so we can see it on the screen. All right, so that is the tag way. And if we just inspect this element, just right click and inspect so we can see the HTML, then I'll just uh, make this a bit bigger for you. So you can see right here, we've got ng include equals header.html. So that's the tag that surrounds now this menu bar. And semantically, I don't think that's great. I would rather have a header tag. So what I would probably do is use header 
then use ng include as an attribute, but this time we get rid of the source attribute instead, and we just say ng include equals this right here. We still keep it in single quotes within the double quotes, we still need that, but then this time we'll just close off the header tag. Now we're using it as an attribute, and it's still gonna do the same thing. So when I save it, we still get the same result here, but when I inspect the element, now you're gonna see the menu bar is within the header. So to me, that's a little bit more semantic, okay? So that, my friends, is how we use ng include. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to throw a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.